Hi, it's Julie Meller, Easy Swing Coach. Today's video is about the X Factor. I get quite a lot of people uh, messaging me about, well, you don't create the X Factor in your golf swing, therefore you can't hit the golf ball very far. Well, it's not true. I, I can hit the golf ball as far as I need to. So um, I, I don't really think that we should be trying to force golf shots and trying to put our body in such ridiculous positions to try and create a little bit more power, which ultimately is causing injury. But let's just get on to the subject of X factor. What, what is it? It's actually a separation of the lower body and the upper body. Um, so we're trying to, or they'd be trying to have resistance in the lower body, minimum hip turn, maximum shoulder turn. But you can probably hear it already, it's starting to take my breath away just through these restrictions. Now, that can't be healthy. If you're suffering with a bad back or you're a senior golfer, that has got to have an effect on your body, no question about it. So I massively don't go for X Factor for people who are, let's say, more mature or certainly people who've got bad backs. I think as a, a younger person, if you've got the flexibility and mobility in your body and you know, you're probably working on your fitness, then yes, it can help. But you know, let's get real here. We're not all tour pros. Um, they're quite a unique breed of people and I don't think we should really be trying to copy what they're doing if we're not prepared to put the hours and hours of work in every single day that will help generate this extra speed. So really what we're saying here is if you keep your feet still, you, you reduce the amount of hip turn to a minimum, you try and create this coil. Ugh. I can already feel it, I can feel it right down here, I can certainly feel it in my lower back. And then they're saying, now resist it, turn the hips, and then fire it. And God almighty, that's definitely gonna hurt, uh, hurt some bodies out there. I can feel it, I've just done it that once and I can already feel it in my lower back here. So. If, if you're trying the X Factor and you've got issues with your back, I would almost definitely stop right now because you're going you're gonna to injure yourself. And what's in, more important, having a, playing golf for a long period of time or just stopping and trying to gain a few extra yards. So I desperately wouldn't be trying to do the X Factor. So let's come on to what I would prefer to do and you've probably seen this before we call it La Danse de Golf but actually there's an awful lot happening when we do this one so we're thinking about the left heel or your, or your lead foot depending which which way you play so lead heel so we're going to let that move we're going to let the ankle move nice and freely that's going to give you more hip rotation and it's going to give you a better shoulder turn. And I'm, I'm going to turn right to the top now. I've got no pain. I've got no strain whatsoever. But if I keep that foot down and do it, it already takes my breath away. So let's avoid that. So we've turned to the right and we turn back to the left. Now, I love La Danse de Golf and I can't tell you how many times a day I do it. But if you wanted to take it a stage further, you would then maybe get into a golfing posture. Say I was going to hit a wedge or something like that way. So I'm, I'm kind of down into my golf posture now. And I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to turn to the right. And what you might see here is a slight tilt in the shaft rather than it being parallel to the ground. So slight tilt. And that's just because my back is slightly bent forward and there's my natural tilt. So I'll do that this way. Turn this way. As we strike the ball, go with it. And now I'm out, I'm definitely not in any pain. You'll probably see that my, my, le my left side looks quite straight and I'm nice and upright and I'm not putting any strain whatsoever on my back. So I'm going to turn right, I'm going to get into a wedge posture, turn right, follow it through. And then I'll do it from this side and then I'll do it from face on as well. So I'm into my golfing posture, turn right, turn through. So what I'm not doing here, I'm not tilting the body, and not making it kind of look a bit weird. And as we start to take it back, we're just turning right, turning left. Now, if I do this face on this way, so I'm gonna turn, show you how it looks when we turn through, turn right, turn left. And you see, I've now come out of, 
out of my posture so I feel nice and upright and I'm not putting any strain on my back whatsoever. But imagine now if I did this from here, let's do it this way. I'm gonna keep my foot still, keep my hip turned to a minimum. And now I'm trying to create this X factor, but oh my God, I can feel it right in my hip. I can feel it in my lower back and can feel it going up my side and from there. And then they're saying, resist the hip. Sorry, turn the hips, resist the shoulder turn, and now snap it. I think that's probably going to snap your back, never mind, <laughs> snap the golf ball a long way. So let's allow your feet to move nice and freely. Turn back, there's no pain. Turn through, there's no pain. And the reason for that is if you think of your back and your vertebrae, they're stacked one on top of the other. If we turn, let me put that down, if we turn, and there's my spine, they're not really compressing. But if I'm here and creating this torque, you can see here how my left hip's gone out and now my spine is starting to slightly compress from here. I've got a bit of an extension in my left side and there's that pain in your lower back. So if we turn properly, your discs and your vertebrae are working with each other. They're not, you're not getting a compression and an extension it's just nice and level so it's definitely going to help with a pain-free golf back so if you are suffering with a bad back i can't recommend that you do la dance to golf enough so initially start nice and upright to get the feeling of the movement so when we're doing this let's cover what's actually happening so we've got a turning of the body right and left we've got a weight shift from right to left if we do this a few times you'll start to see a nice smooth rhythm it's coordinated so as I'm turning my clubs going back as I turn through the club goes through so the whole movement becomes coordinated so an uncoordinated swing was a weight stays forward the club goes back the weight goes back the club goes forward so that's not really matching up and it's not coordinated. So we've got the coordination. We've also got balance. So I'm nicely in balance one way and the other back through. So we're in that lovely balanced position. Turn back, turn through. Can hold that forever and a day. No pain whatsoever on my back. So if I'm trying to stay in this posture, oh, already you'll start to see the back creaking and our final word that we use when we do this exercise we call it suplesse which is really about the flow it's the flow of the golf swing so we want it to have that superb flow to it and not one that's forced and and awkward so if i now just hit a couple of shots just to finish nice and relaxed No pain whatsoever when I hit that, can't feel anything. And by the way, I used to do this, this separation, this X factor, massive issues with my left knee when I did it. I'm always in the chiropractor trying to get my lower back sorted out. I was in absolute agony if I'd hit two, 300 balls in a day, I was in real pain. And uh, I now know that that's a sign that I was doing something wrong. So I can honestly say now, hand on heart, I have no pain when I hit golf balls. And I can hit golf balls all day if I wanted to, no pain whatsoever. And that's really because I'm using my body as it's designed to move, not in this artificial way that's trying to create all this extra power and torque in the golf swing, which inevitably is going to cause injury and you only have to look at uh, the list of tour pros who, who have been injured i think we're going to see a lot of short careers with tour players i think they're going to make a lot of money they're hitting the golf ball phenomenal distances but at what cost i don't think we're going to get a lot of longevity if they keep swinging the way they are so allowing that ankle to move nice and freely that enables your knee to move properly, your hips will turn properly, that will support your back and your shoulders will work correctly as well. So let's just hit one more, nice and relaxed.
So I hope this video has helped you think a little bit about the X Factor and whether it's a healthy thing to be doing or not. And I'd highly recommend that you start practicing La Danse de Golf and get your body moving efficiently so you don't get any injuries. As always, if I can be of any help, just drop me a line. It's juliemellagolfschool.com. And, uh, and uh, if I can help in any way, I will do. Thanks for watching. Bye. Mm -hmm. Oh,